Have you ever wondered about the earth beneath your feet? How did it get there? What lies under it? And what can it tell you about the history of our world? With Price Mountain, the answer is far more than you might think. Price Mountain is located in Montgomery County as part of the Valley and Ridge Physiographic Province of Virginia, very near to Virginia Tech. But why is it that in an area with long, linear ridges and valleys, Price Mountain stands out as a distinctive oval shape? The answer lies in the geologic history of Price Mountain. Part of what makes Price Mountain so special is that it is an anticline, a geologic structure in which rock layers are compressed and folded upwards to create a mountain or hill-like feature. The Price Mountain Anticline is where over 9,000 feet of rock layers have been compressed to form a dome shape. It's thought that there's something called a blind thrust, a thrust which has never reached the surface that is below the mountain which caused this dome structure to form. Surrounding the mountain is another thrust called the Pulaski Thrust. This thrust placed Cambrian Age rock over much younger Mississippian Age rock. Price Mountain is also something called a window. A window is a structure where the top layer of rock has been eroded away over time to reveal rock below the original surface. In the case of Price Mountain, this means that we can see through the top layer of Cambrian Age rocks and look into the layers of Mississippian units that compose the inner dome of the mountain. Price Mountain is almost literally a window into the past. Price Mountain contains four sedimentary lithologies that together form a continental shoreline sequence. The bottommost conglomerate was accumulated in the foreland basin during the continental collision. Sea level then began to rise, allowing for deposition of the Sunbury Shale that resulted from the early Mississippian transgression. Later on, sea level began to retreat again and gave way to deposition of the Price Sandstone. The lower half of this was deposited on the continental shelf as a submarine fan sequence. It contains upward finding turbidites that grade into massive sand beds like these. And these massive sands contain giant hummocky cross beds like the one we see here, and they were deposited on the beach above the major storm wave base. Altogether, these formed a continental shoreline of the Appalachian orogeny. The rocks and what we can find within them tell us a lot about the geologic past of Price Mountain. Fossils like bivalves, brachiopods, and even a starfish found at the base of the Price Formation indicate that these rocks were first deposited in a marine environment, which slowly transitioned to a terrestrial one. Plant fossils, as well as coal, point to Price Mountain and its surrounding areas, having been a swamp-like environment during the Mississippian about 315 million years ago. Most of this geologic information is hidden beneath the surface, but it still influences the soil, vegetation, and topography. The topography of Price Mountain has been shaped through millions of years of erosion. We used to be a peak the size of the tallest mountains we see today, now only stands 760 meters above sea level. The reason why Price Mountain stands out today is because its bedrock is much more resistant than the surrounding area. The resistant bedrock is mainly composed of silclastic sediments shown in the grayish green part of the map. All around Price Mountain we can find carbonates, which are indicated in pink. Carbonate rocks erode much faster than silclastics, which causes Price Mountain to stand out. But Price Mountain doesn't just tell an important geologic story. It also has a rich history that is far more recent, including a prominent coal mining history. Price Mountain has several natural resources, including anthracite coal and natural gas. Extraction of anthracite started with hand and explosive mining, producing originally 250 to 500 tons of coal per day. These methods later transitioned to drilling efforts to locate coal beds bearing gas content, with prolific use of cable tooth holes starting around the 1950s. There was also fracking of wells, which resulted in 508 to 666 standard cubic feet per ton of gas. However, the porosity of the rocks reduced flow rates to such a degree that wells were determined to be uneconomical. Coal mining on Price Mountain began as small operations around 1750, primarily for stone cutting and blacksmithing. During the Civil War, the Confederacy used the government colliery, also known as the Merrimack Mines, to obtain coal to power their machinery. Following the Civil War, coal production increased, especially when mining companies popped up and founded small communities to accommodate coal miners and their families. Production hit a high when the Huckleberry train line connected the coal mines with the Norfolk and Western line, located near Christiansburg. Eventually, the train facilitated the transportation of both passengers and coal. 
Throughout the peak years until its last run, the train was used by many Virginia Tech students. Since it was such a slow-moving train, students would be able to hop off and pick huckleberries while the train rounded a bend, and then hop back on with the huckleberries before the train could pick up speed. Overall coal production ended around 1935, and the last run of the huckleberry train was around 1958. In the years following, the huckleberry train tracks were removed and paved over to create the walking and biking trail now known as the Huckleberry Trail. Today, we can still walk in the footsteps of coal miners and learn more about their community at the Coal Mining Heritage Park. And we can also recognize the widespread effects of the resources and human history of Price Mountain. There is so much we can learn about our planet from the natural world around us. So next time you see Price Mountain on the horizon as you take a drive through Blacksburg, or walk in its shadow as you go down the Huckleberry Trail. Take a second to think about the geologic history and human stories Price Mountain can tell you. Millions of years of information lie just beneath your feet.